So by now you'll be used to finding the gradient function of a curve. So if I had, for example, y is equal to x squared, then the gradient function we know is going to be 2x. The 2 comes down to the front, you take 1 off the power. Now what does this represent? Well, this represents how the gradient of the curve changes at a particular point. So you've got this curve of y equals x squared. And let's say I want to find the gradient of the curve at a particular point. So let's say I want to find the gradient of the curve at the point 3. Now, what's going to happen is that what I'm asking is to find the gradient of the tangent line to the curve. So remember, a tangent line just brushes the curve at that point that I'm looking at. So I'm really asking, what is the gradient of that tangent line? OK? So this function tells me the gradient of the curve at any point that I want. So if I want to specify and say I want to find the gradient of the curve at 3, we can say, well, dy by dx, and we draw this vertical line and say, well, I want to evaluate it when x is equal to 3. Really, this is just a shorthand notation rather than saying when x equals 3, dy by dx equals. We can instead write this using a vertical line and substituting in effectively x equals 3. So two lots of 3, which is 6. So the gradient of that blue tangent line is 6. That's the gradient of that line at that point. OK? And so I could choose any other point I like. I could choose minus 1, and I know that the gradient of the line at that point will be 2 lots of minus 1, so minus 2. If I chose it at minus 4, the gradient would be 2 lots of minus 4, so minus 8. OK? So I can now find the gradient of the curve at any particular point that I want. And it's finding me the gradient of the tangent at that point.